Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through downloading and installing the Master Genealogist. Let's point our browser over to holygenes.com. So W H O L L Y G E N E S dot com. Don't press enter there. And right here in the middle of the of the screen here we've got this link that says download a 30-day free trial so we're gonna click on that one time we'll get a little dialog box it asks us what we want to do with that file and uh, we're just gonna save that so it's gonna create this file tmg7 setup.exe we're just gonna click this save file button here one time and we've got this little progress meter that will click through as it downloads through the magic of time-lapse screencasts. We're going to zip to the end here. The download's nearly complete. There we go. Now we've got it down. and We can close this window. We can actually close out of Firefox. We won't need that anymore. And You'll see I have my download set up to drop them on my desktop where I can immediately work with them. Uh, so you'll have to look wherever your downloads go. So you're looking for this file TMG7 setup. Once you find that, just double click on it. You'll get this security warning saying you just downloaded this from the internet. Are you sure you want to run it? And I'm just going to click the run button here one time. Okay, first thing we need to do is select our language for the installation dialogs. So since I speak English and read English, I'm going to click OK on that one. Get a little intro screen. Um, suggesting that you close all the other applications, which I've already done. So I'm going to click this next button down at the bottom. Here's our license agreement. You're going to want to read that, especially if you um, are tired and need to sleep. I'm going to click Agree and click Next on this button right down here. Okay, this, so this is going to tell me uh, where the Master Genealogist version 7 is going to be installed. By default, it goes in your program files folder location. If you want that in a different place, you can click the Browse button here and uh, just scroll to wherever you want to put that. Um, and then you can also install this for anyone who uses the computer, or you can install it only for yourself. By default, it's you can see that it's for anyone. So I'm going to click this Next button right here, just accepting the defaults. And then here, we want to we want to answer some this question about backup copies. So these are backups of files that may be installed by other applications. So it's wanting to know whether if it runs into any of these, whether we want to back them up somewhere. And um, that's a safe thing to do. It's a really nice little feature of the installation here. So I'm going to leave it yes. So it's going to create a folder within the Master Genealogist in the Programs file called Backup, where it's going to stick those things. If you um, don't do this and, uh, for whatever reason, uninstall the software, um, you may not be able to put your system back the way that it was um, if, if Master Genealogist replaced a file during the installation, and uh, that would be lost. So I'm just going to accept the Yes button here and click Yes or Next. Okay, so this is just giving me a summary of everything that's going to be installed. Um, if there, for some reason I wanted not to have one of these things um, to save space or something like that, like the language pack, you can see that that's uh, a large a large amount of disk space. You could you could uncheck those. Um, for the purposes of this, I'm going to leave all of these things um, included. So I'm just going to click the next button down here one time, and then. It wants to know what name we want to use for the program manager group um, where the master genealogist icons are going to be installed in. So that's down here on the start menu when you click start and then all programs. It wants to know what you want to name the folder, what, what these things like this folder for family search. It wants to know what you want to call that. So I'm just going to use the default, the master genealogist v7. And I'm going to click the next button down here one time. Okay, now so now it tells us we're ready. We just have to click the next button to start the actual installation. And so we'll just wait for that to finish. All right, welcome back. Now that that installation is finished, um, 
this, this installation's done one of the things that I don't like, and that is it put a short uh, shortcut on my desktop. Um, I believe without asking me, I didn't see any choice for whether I wanted that created. So I'm going to click the Finish button here since we're finished, and I'm going to throw that away since I don't like people cluttering up my desktop. So I'm going to delete that shortcut, and I'm also going to delete this installation file since I no longer need that. So now it's telling me that it's it's got to um, restart the computer in order to finish the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK for that. Um, since I don't have any programs running right now at this point, that's OK to do. So once the system's back up, then I'll pick up where we left off. OK, we're back now. The installation's finished. Now that we've restarted, we can actually get rid of this file. I tried to get rid of it before, but the installation was still running. That's what that little dialog box is about. I'm going to empty my trash so you guys can see that I'm really you know, retentive here. I like to keep my desktop clean only with what I'm working on at the time, and I like to keep my trash can empty. Okay, now that we've got that installation done, if we go down here to the Start menu, we'll now see that we get this little bubble that tells us that we've got a new program installed and if we go over here that's highlighted in yellow meaning hey this is the program that just got installed so now we have some choices down here we've got a, a quick little way to check to see if there's an updated version of the program and then there's a there's some help here there's the actual program itself there's the visual chart form and the help for that so I'm gonna go ahead and start up the master genealogist here so this is going to be the first startup. So it's got a little bit of work to do the first time. Good news is this won't happen every time you start up a master genealogist. It's just this first time. Okay, so we get this this little window here telling us that this is a trial version, and um, if you've already purchased, then you have a key, and this um, button right here will take you to the place that you can go to unlock the version that you have. Um, I'm going to assume that you're using a trial version for now, and that's what we're going to do here. So we'll click close. And there we go. We are on the we have successfully downloaded and installed the Master Genealogist.